And now moving on to our next segment, and this one is called BGM Wants to Know About You. Let's take a look at that on the screen, please. Oh, yes. What could this be about? So this is a segment where Jill will become your counselor. Okay, so we're going to read um, your concerns. Some of you, if not all of you, you, you guys wrote in your concerns and we're going to talk about it together. We receive them in advance, obviously. So we're going to read it and then um, we'll ask you what you think. Because he was the one who handpicked these concerns as well. We picked a total of five. Um, so let's get to it. Let's take a look at the first one. On the one screen, please. Okay, our first concern comes from Madeline Bartolome, who is in Balcony-2-17. Where are you? Okay, I see a glow stick that said, oh, that's a lot of glow sticks, actually. But Balcony's upstairs, though. Okay, all right, she's there, up there, Madeline is um, on top there on the second floor. Okay, let's take a look at what her concern is. Hi, Joe. Any advice for someone who is working and also studying at the same time to fulfill her dreams? I am working to help provide for my family, but I also decided to study again in order to pursue my true passion, which is making films and writing stories. But sometimes it's getting hard, and I'm doubting if I should still continue or just stick to working. Oh, see you how we Oh man, oh, a lot of, a lot of um, your fans here can relate to this one. So basically, she's working for her family and she is also studying for her dreams. What would you say to Madeline? Oh, I don't know. 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 I don't Ah, uh, muna muna, medyo mahirap po dahil hindi ko rin po nalalaman kung ano ba yung sitwasyon ng pamilya ninyo. Pero isang bagay, pero ang sabihin sa inyo na sigurado. Oh. Isa, oh. Buwis na ang dito po sa but <laughs> invest, it is something you do at things that you cannot see. And I hope you like the advice, yes, that we got from DJ. I, but I, I felt like you know, he's really rooting for you, you know, and your passion, and what you want to do with your life. And so I hope you, I hope that serves as inspiration for you to do what you want. All right? We'd love to hear how you do. All right, let's move on to our second concern, which is coming from Claire Molina, who is in Balcony-1-5. Where are you? Hi, Claire. All right. As we try to locate her, let me read her concern. Claire says, I know you work hard on your craft, so I don't know if you've experienced getting burned out or really tired of work. For context, I work as a healthcare worker, and because of COVID, work has been extra difficult the past two years, and lately I've been thinking of just wanting to be happy. If you did feel tired with your work, how or what did you do to find that spark again to continue what you're doing? And if you haven't, I want to ask what you are doing to always find enjoyment in your work despite all the hardship that it entails. And lastly, in the future, the near future, do you plan to do anything else other than acting? Thank you so much for answering. If you do, and he will, Claire. Oh, 
Um, so, tingin ko naman po yung burnout, dumarating po siya sa lahat ng mga tao. Yes. Huwag ko siya po sa mga po yun eh. Ibig sabihin, sobra po kayo napapagod. I think resting is an option that we also have to think about. We don't have to always keep on running. Yes. And once you rest, you'll get to see the fun of your work once again. I just pretended to be happy, but I realized I was really happy. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to go to the next one. What? Let's show him it was worth it, guys. Really? Really? Because we are so happy you're here. Oh, you don't know what you're doing, girl. Don't get it wrong. I'm very happy right now. Okay, just check it. Alright. So you're on. In a nutshell, fake it till you make it, and then you actually do get happy in that process. Yeah, that's and you actually know that a lot of these things in your day as well. Thank you so much for that answer, and thank you. Marisa! Marisa! That was such an honest answer. Marisa, I really appreciate that. You know what, before we move on to our next concern, there was one question in the letter prior to this one. Um, she was asking, in the near future, do you plan to do anything other than acting? We didn't get to answer that question. Okay, let's go on to our next concern, please. Okay, this one is coming from Roasting Badiana, Lodge 2 2. But she goes by Chin. Where are you? On this other than this, she is. She's waving at us. Hi, Jin! 
Okay, Chin says, 안녕, 이재욱 안 Chin, I'm a writer and a published author. As a result of so many changes in my life as an artist, I've been experiencing a creative slump and fear that I'm losing my identity as an artist. How do you, as an artist, overcome the fear that your later works may fall short of your earlier ones? How can you satisfy your supporters who expect more work in projects while dealing with both positive and negative criticism and maintaining your authenticity? But I don't know if I'm question. Very articulate. Love it. Okay. As, you know, artist to artist, or you know, something. So, an advice from an artist to another artist, right? So, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. In Korea, uh, there is uh, one Korean film director named Bong Joon Ho, whom I really respect. A famous quote niya is, The most personal is the most creative. You might feel like you're in a rush or you're pressured. But as you experience different situations through deep thinking, I'm pretty sure creativity will root out from that. Right now, it's the most But I love how you are so sincere in answering all these questions. Oh, yeah. 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 And I love that line that you said that the most personal is the most creative. Right? Most personal is the most creative. So if you have any artistic souls in the house today, I think that's a great takeaway. And we're rooting for you. Good luck. We hope that you get out of that slump very soon. Thank you so much for sharing your concern with us. And with that, we are moving on to our next concern, which is coming from Brianna Melecho. She's at Dakini 4-26. Brianna, where are you? Okay, let's look for her. All right, Brianna. Brianna says, I'm feeling disconnected and unfulfilled in my social life. I have a few acquaintances, but I don't feel like I have any close friends or meaningful connections. I'm not sure how to find people who share my interests or values and develop fulfilling friendships. I want to expand my social circle and cultivate more meaningful relationships, but I'm not sure where to start. How can I expand my social circle and cultivate fulfilling relationships? Oh, um, first of all, don't try to get close to someone right at the first meeting. But we want to get close to you. Except for me, Chad. I don't know. May I do some of those times? Closest. You guys are closest now, the two of you. We have to go, sorry. Oh, that's all. So, so. Are you um, uh, in the interest in your common interest is uh, celebrities? I'm 
Um, I would like to tell you na huwag po kayo masyadong uh, mailak sa mga relasyon. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. I think what people was saying was like, don't focus too much on the relationship, right? Or parang don't be affected too much by the relationship, parang minuan. Huwag kang magpa-apekto. O, pangkina, sasin brother has to be in there. Sigun, jawad ka brother has to be in there. Um, I think that you're kind of, um, hindi, hindi mapakali sa relationship na ka sa loob yan na pinagawa ka ninyo. Kaya siguro sinan ninyo itong story kasi ito po yung isip na medyo questions sa sarili. Kaya mo yan kami yan. Yung interpreter na ka ko. Sa yan ang masatilan, ang ganito pige, sipo mo yun. Sa sinasabi mo yung mong pwede, parang masyado po kayong malungkot. Sinabi ko ko yun, pero ngayon na ang saya mo. Actually nga, everyone was sending their concerns, you know? I mean, these, some of them were like pretty serious problems, but once we saw them and said hi to them, they looked so happy. But I think that is the effect that you have on your fans, right? For a minute there, I think uh, our fans forgot about these concerns that, that they had. And hearing you, of course, weigh in on their situation and giving them advice, I think, uh, provides them really great strength and comfort. And so thank you so much for, again, so sincerely answering and giving advice and sharing your thoughts on these situations. Ayan, hearts galore. Okay. All right, and for all of you who did write in as well and did not get picked tonight, no need to be sad because DJ is going to read all of them and he has read a lot of them, I've heard. And also for those of you who did get picked tonight, here's some